In this section, we will review the MySQL Query Explain plan, which is a tool that can help us to identify areas within our query that need optimization. For example, if we are querying a very large table, the Explain plan will inform us how many rows are within the table, and if needs be, we can refine our query down to a smaller set of rows from the table, such as by adding criteria based on a country code or to filter on a given set of dates. Opening up our production query for our sales project, we can see that in the output when we run our query, MySQL will identify how many rows are being impacted at each stage of our query. Before running our actual query, which may take, for example, a couple of hours to run in production, we can step down through each part of our query and run an explain statement against each part. For example, a query explain will not execute against a create table statement. And if I try running the query explain here, which I can also run by highlighting the code and using Control Alt X, are selecting explain current statement. MySQL will return explain data not available for this statement. Moving down through our query though, we can start with our select statement on our customer base that we identified and using the shortcut Control Alt X, I can see a visual explain comes back telling us that we have from the customer address table, it performs a full table scan preceded by a query block. For example, within our full table scan, we get information here such as the cost hint telling us that this is a very high, very costly for large tables. It also identifies that there were no usable indexes on our table. And in this scenario, we should potentially be refining our query down. As we are working against a small table, this is not too much of an impact against our system. But if this was a large production environment, we would want to take necessary steps to reduce the number of rows that our query is pulling back. An estimated cost is also provided in our query block telling us how much memory will be allocated for our output query. As well as the visual explain, we can also look at a tabular view, which provides us with additional details, such as the possible keys that we can use against our tables, the table aliases that we're referencing against, such as cus, address, and city. And if any of the information was filtered for example, with our first row against customer, we can see that it is using the index and 599 rows were reviewed with a full table scan. For example, we were initially running with our district equal to California during our test, and we might also put in address where cus active is one implying that we have active customers only. Running our explain again, we can now see that where criteria has been applied on both the customer and address. And if we switch to our visual explain, we're still seeing details with regards to our full table scan. But in terms of our query cost, we've been able to reduce our query down somewhat. Moving down through our query, we can look at another example. Again, we see a cost for our query returned in our query block. And looking at the explain statement, we can see a number of our tables are using indexes and relevant information about our tables, such as potential keys that we can use and how many keys were actually used. And finally, moving on to our last statement, 
we can look at the visual explained to identify a cost and also the tabular explain. In this scenario we can see that our cusp pay detail table will use a temporary table. So to finish up with the MySQL query explain, this tool can be very useful to identify areas within your query that need some attention. The query explain plan is particularly useful for identifying what keys are relevant to a given table and what you should be joining on, as well as the number of rows that you're potentially executing against. If you do find yourself having to join to a table that doesn't have a relevant set of keys or indexes against the table, you can always contact your database administration team to ask if they can set up appropriate indexes against a given table. If you find that your query is taking a very long time to run and potentially could run faster if you had a relevant set of keys applied to a given table in production. Lastly to note that the MySQL explain is estimating how long your query will take based on information it has gathered about tables within your data warehouse or database. Provided that this information is kept up to date then your explain statements should be very accurate. However, if your database is changing quite frequently, you may find that your explain statements can be somewhat misleading. While these are not actually running queries against the database, they are providing best guess estimates for your potential query when it runs against the system. That's all on the MySQL explain and I'll see you in the next section.